Привіт! It's Anna from ukrainianlessons.com. I have created the 1000 words. It's an ebook with the most useful Ukrainian words with examples and flashcards. And in this video, I want to show you how to use this resource and most importantly, how to use and modify and install the Anki flashcards, which is probably the most important part of this resource. Ви готові? Are you ready? Почнімо. Let's start. After you purchase 1000 words, you immediately get two files. One is a ebook PDF file. It is actually a long table of 1000 Ukrainian words. Each word has a translation and the example sentence also with translation. You can use this file on any device or print it out. What is really helpful for memorizing and learning these words is this file, Enki Deck package. To open it, you will need the app called Enki. Just uh, Google it and download. You can install it on all these systems and it is for free for almost all of them, except iPhone, iPad. You need to pay to get it for iOS. But uh, if you don't want to buy, it's no problem. I will show you how to use it uh, on your laptop or in your browser, also on your iPhone, for example. So download and install Anki for your device. Here I use Windows and uh, after it downloads, just click on it and install it. But uh, it's already installed on my laptop, so I will show you. Here I find Anki. Uh, just add your profile, create a new profile. All you need is just to put your name. This is the name of your profile. Click on it and you are on in Anki. Now just open the flashcards file I sent you and Anki will synchronize it. And here you have it, 1000 Ukrainian words deck. You see 20, it's the number of the new words you will learn per day. You can easily change this number and uh, actually many other settings in options. Say if you want to learn 30 new words a day, just change it. You can customize many things here. And now click on the deck and start learning. Zapytanya. Pytanya. You see the first side of the card and my voice. Try to repeat after me every time. It's very helpful. Do you know what uh, zapytanya is? It's a question. So now you can choose how well you know this word. Is it easy? Or is it good? Or do you need to repeat it again in one minute? Pora roku. Here you see, uh, as, ex as an example, there is a question. What's your favorite season? So when I have a question, as an example, I encourage you to answer this question. In this way, you can practice. You just say, Moja ulublena pora roku, osin. Plakati, poplakati. This one is a verb, and the verbs can get really challenging in Ukrainian for the learners because there are two forms of them. And as you see, I put always two forms of verbs, nedokonany, imperfective, and dokonany, perfective. And uh, those examples can get really precious for you because you can see the difference between two aspects. Vona. This word is quite easy, so we can put uh, it uh, as easy. Right, and to repeat it in four days. Now, if you click on browse, you can see all the words, all the flashcards that you have in your Enki. If you look on the left, you can find 1000 words deck, and these are all the words I prepared for you. There are 2000 cards here because 1000 cards is for the Ukrainian words and picture and uh, translation, and 1000 is for the reversed cards, so English and Ukrainian. And the best thing of Enki is that you can actually edit all the cards, anything you want. You can change the text, for example, you can just write something here, anything. <laughs> or you can delete the picture and copy paste another picture you prefer. And yeah, you can also add your own cards. Of course, it's important because you are going to learn more words. So you add a new card, you can put, for example, the name of your country, 
You can edit it by uh, adding new, some colors, word stresses. I prefer to do it in red. Then you put the translation. I would also put the synonym here. Sha is the same as Polutchenny Stadt Ameriky. Now let's make this card look better with a picture. We just find a picture. Basically copy it and paste. Now it looks better. And you can also change the type of card to a reverse uh, card. So you can see both Ukrainian to English and English to Ukrainian. Uh, also you can add more lines. For example, I usually put the line example. And then you will have for all your next cards, you will have the example line and you can put the example. And that's it, isn't that lovely? <laughs> You can, for example, search for United States. You put United and you can find this card. Uh, so yes, you can s do the research for the words uh, in this uh, part. And, uh, but be careful, by the way, because um, it's case sensitive. If you put Dobry, if it's in capital, you find Dobry in capital letter. If you put uh, Dobry in low case, you find Dobre in low case. Just keep that in mind working with Enki. In general, Enki is so awesome. After you finish work with it, you can just synchronize it with your profile. For this, you need to have an account. So just press on this link and uh, you can create a new account by signing up. But I will show you on my account. I will just put my email and my password that I already have and show you my Enki account. So here I have all my decks by decks. It's some decks for Ukrainian learners and now all my decks for learning languages. Let's see, Espanol. So actually it looks the same as, almost the same as I make for Ukrainian learners, but uh, without uh, pronunciation. So I actually, I created uh, Spanish cards from the first day I started learning. So basically I have all my words I know in Spanish in Anki. And uh, so as you see, you, you can use Anki in browser too. So this is a browser version. You can use it for free from any device. And uh, just don't forget to synchronize your account clicking on this button. So you synchronize it and you, it's available every time uh, from any place, for any, de on any device. Try it for Ukrainian, try it for other languages or anything you need to remember. And enjoy your learning. Uspichiv, good luck.